Well, we've come down to Pulrose Bridge. It's been some time since we just covered this and actually got someone wrote to me and said, what's going on? I thought, good question. Why not ask the minister? So where are we up to here? Because it, it seems like it's a bridge now and uh, things are going all right, are they? Yeah, as, as to where we're up to now, well, hopefully we're nearly finished now. I think by the end of, uh, certainly by the end of next month, we should be very, very close to the uh, completion of the job, Paul. This um, has cost how much? About £1.3 million. Uh, it's been a huge uh, infrastructure job for Carries. They've done a great job, along with those others involved from the services. We've uh, had gas, electric and all the uh, water to move, pipes to move as well. So it's been a huge job. Now, this is allowing, is it, for all the future proofing you need to do? Because, I mean, as you said, services have been put in there, but these things have to, have to be looked at to last a long time, don't they? Yeah, they've all been moved, but it also you see that the span of the bridge has widened to allow, I mean, yeah. a few years ago when we had the flooding, we had loads of debris caught under here now, so hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll never get another storm again like that, but if we do, that debris should be able to get underneath the bridge. A lot of disruption around this whole area, I mean, and you've got TT coming up and that sort of thing, I mean, what's going to be the situation for this area? This, this will be finished for TT, well before TT. Um, so there's been a lot of disruption during this bridge making. Um, so we, we've moved all the electric, the gas, the water. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, everybody that lives in this area or uses this area has had to put up with the diversions for which we thank them um, during the scheme. But it's been a big job and Carey's has done a wonderful job for us. And how long is this meant to last now then? This... How long is it meant to last? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be... We'll see you and me out, that's for certain. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It, did it have to be done? I suppose it was a bit, the great question. For yeah, it, it needed year. doing. Following the floods a few years ago, it had yeah. to be done. You know, say so they widened the yeah. span of the bridge, and that's so only debris coming down here. And any future street, any future storm now will hopefully go under that without causing any problems. So, unusual maybe, but we'll give a pat on the back where it's due. You're saying it's going to come in under budget and on time or before time or? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's coming. We're hoping at the moment towards the end of April. We'll give or take yeah. a week or two, but uh, they've done a good job. And it, they said it would be open for TT, and it will be open for TT. Yes. Before you go, i just got to quickly ask you what's going on at the airport. We've had uh, these allegations made by uh, your assistant director, whatever he's called, the position that uh, there's bullying and all sorts of things going on. What have you got on that? I honestly haven't seen any accusations. He, he resigned last week, on Thursday last week he resigned, yeah. uh, and that's all I know at this moment. I'm not aware of any accusations. He's doing a TV show, is that nothing to do with it? No, not as far as I know. He does yeah. that in his own free time. He's been working, I think it's down at Heathrow with uh, yeah. BBC and I think it's whoever, whichever airline, but he's been working down there. So just, just I mean, obviously, I understand there could be all sorts of procedures going on here, but as far as you know, you didn't know there's anything going on? Or, Absolutely or, not. No, it came as a bolt of the blue to us last Thursday afternoon. And <laughs> while I'm doing other things, promenade, uh, one-way systems all about to start again. Another nightmare for some travellers, I think, coming up. Well, hopefully it won't be a nightmare, but it, it is unfortunate. But I have been saying, and I've said to you since before last Christmas, we knew this was coming, so we warned everybody. We've had three months' notice. That time is now here from Monday, I think it is. Uh, probably about three weeks' work to be done. It's unfortunate, but it had to be done. It was part of the job uh, that needs rectifying, so that'll start on Monday. This is tramways and the red bit, is it? This is the red bit. This is just the edging bit to sort out, yeah. So right. ho hopefully, say, three weeks. If we get good weather, it might be less than that, but uh, it's got to be done. You sent the shopways down a lot of people last time we chatted about the horse trams not being ready on time for, well, I think July you were talking about. Any, any updates on that? No, it's, it's about the same. You know, the points are due at uh, beginning, of March, uh, beginning of April, sorry, so the timeline from there is you know, it'll be July probably before the horses are ready to uh, pull the trams in. Yeah.